stand and bear it. You better volunteer for the nursery. You know what? God has done so much for you. What are you doing for him? These are the mantra of those who try to motivate through guilt and pressure and compulsion and obligation. But that's not the way to serve, is it? We serve in the atmosphere of freedom where the gospel doesn't change. We don't serve to get more blessing from God. We don't serve to get closer to God. We don't serve to earn points with God. We serve because we've already figured out uh, this is the greatest message on the planet. Oh my goodness, as far as earning points, I'm already a 10 out of 10. I'm an 11. I'm off the charts. As far as getting closer to God, I'm in union with Christ. I'm one spirit with Him. Talk about new. There's a whole new kind of intimacy here. Christ is my life. And so we're not serving to get something. We're not serving to be blessed by God. We're serving because we've been blessed with every spiritual blessing. So we got to stop it. That other way to serve is basically the prosperity gospel without the cash. You hear me? It's the prosperity gospel without the cash. Because we're saying, well, if I do my part, then God will send down blessings. If I serve hard enough and well enough, then God will respond to that and give me, give me, give me. It's the prosperity gospel without the cash. We're talking instead of money, we're talking about blessings and closeness and all of this other stuff. Points with God in some sort of point system as God gets out his clipboard. Maybe at the final judgment, we imagine a bigger mansion, more square footage, more jewelry, more crowns to stack on our heads. It's the prosperity gospel without the immediate cash. That's not the true message of the gospel. We serve in the newness of the Spirit because He motivates, He inspires. We get to give freely from the heart, not under pressure, and serve freely and live from the heart because we got a new heart that we can trust. We've got a go-to place at the center of our being that is gorgeous. Jesus lives there. He cleaned house and he moved in. And all the motivation you'll ever need is right here. Not out there through pressure and obligation, but in here.